I don't know about you, but I want to trust God. But sometimes I just want to say, God, it's difficult to trust in a God I can't see. There's a lot that I can see, right? I can see the COVID craziness everywhere. I can see whenever my bank account goes down. I can see all the tension every time I read or watch anything in the news. God, I want to trust in you, but it's hard when I don't really see you. Or some of you might say, how can I trust in God when I did trust in God, but he didn't do what I asked him to do? What I wanna to do today is I wanna show you a story from Luke's gospel, Luke chapter five, who had been out and did what they normally did, but they didn't have the success they normally had. They didn't catch anything. And so they were cleaning up their boats and putting away their nets. And Jesus walked up into one of the boats belonging to Simon Peter. And he said, hey, bro, would you take us out on the water? And here's what happened in Luke chapter five, verse four, put out into the deep water, and let down the nets for a catch. And Simon says, Master, <laughs> we've worked hard all day and all night and we haven't caught anything. Let me pause before I tell you what Simon said, because to me, this is as Simon tries to be polite, but I can guarantee what he's thinking is, who are you to tell me? There are generations and generations of fishermen in my family and you're getting on my boat, taking up my time, giving me your stupid advice. So often when God will invite you to put your trust in Him, it can make you feel really, really stupid. This doesn't make any sense. You might read in scripture, well, Jesus says, don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will take care of itself. And it's really easy to quote that to somebody else. But sometimes when you read it, you think, well, have you seen what's going on in our country? Somebody's got to worry about it. Somebody's got to do something about it. That doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me right now but you gotta give me a little something. I can't see you, I can't always feel you. Can you trust God? And the answer I believe is absolutely, unequivocally, yes, you can. Simon answered, hey, Master Jesus, we've worked hard all night and we haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I'll let down the nets to really grow in our trust and our faith in God. It often starts by trusting Him in the smallest ways, the smallest, most minute act of obedience. But because you say so, I'll do this. Lord, help me obey even when I don't understand. I don't know the outcome. I had no clue of the outcome. And the good news is, outcome is God's responsibility. Obedience is yours.